Hey everyone, so today um, I'm going to do a nail art tutorial and it's been a really, really long time since I've done one, but that is because, as you can see, my uh, the desk over there and that light, where's my arm, that light that is covered with paper, that's the light that I normally use to film, but for some reason it's not working like I flip the switch and then it won't turn on so I have to have like my dad look at it and see like if it's the wiring or something like that so I'm borrowing a different light until that one gets fixed so hopefully this will work out and if not then I'm gonna have to find my own light I know that's that sounds kind of dumb but since I live in the basement the only light that comes in my room is that window and there's one right above and it it gets bright in here, I mean it's bright in here, but when I'm like looking at something super close up, it's really not that bright on camera. Um, yeah, so ignore my face, it's really gross right now. I've been putting, um, this is going to sound weird, like I've been using the Clean and Clear Acne Lotion, but the CVS brand, and it did this to my face. And I don't know what to do. So I'm putting new sporn on my face. And that's why it looks so greasy and gross. Okay, so anyways. The nail art tutorial. Here we go. So the polishes that I'm using are these ones that I got from Big Lots. And this is a Sephora X. And this is kind of like a gold with kind of like a metal flake in it. And it is called Perplexed. And I think these are old formula X's I'm not sure so I picked this up from Big Lots and then I'm also using this light purple color and this one is called Caddy and then I'm using this black holographic you can just use regular black if you don't have a black holographic it doesn't really matter and this one is called Storm so as you can see I painted purple on my pointer finger my pinky and then on my thumb and now I place some striping tape I placed five pieces of striping tape on my ring finger a whole reinforcer towards the tip of my middle finger and one towards the cuticle on my thumb and we're going to paint the thumb with perplexed And this is kind of a sheer polish, so you don't necessarily have to do two coats, but you can kind of just layer on a thick-ish coat. And you can kind of see how shimmery it is in the light, so that's awesome. And just be careful to make sure that you press the sticker down on the corners really good or else it'll seep up, but I mean that's not a problem. I fixed it on my other thumb and all you need is a dotting tool to fix it. So I'm going to peel this off of here and hopefully it turned out alright and hopefully n none of the polish comes up with it. Yes, so that is what your thumb should look like and I did a kind of crappy job of centering that but on my other thumb I did a way better job so if it bothers you fix it if not I'm gonna leave it because I don't feel like fixing it now for the middle finger and the ring finger I'm gonna come in with the purple and you can do this design in any colors that you want really and I'm just gonna paint a French tip on here and you don't need to you don't really need the whole reinforcers to do this but I just wanted kind of a uniform roundness so there is that and cap the edge with the purple and then I'm gonna peel this off hopefully with no trouble awesome just like that and I'm gonna fix this little corner later um, okay 
And now I'm going to go back in with this purple and put it on the stripes. And these polishes, the Sephora, these ones that I picked up from Big Lots, they're kind of thin. So be careful not to let it run everywhere. I mean, it's not a big deal. As you can see, I just got that all over my finger because you can clean it up. But they're pigmented, but they're thin. They like to run a lot. And then peel these tapes off right away. So for the pinky, I'm going to use Perplexed and make a triangle at the base of the nail. So I like to start off and kind of find the center and put a dot there if this will make a dot. There we go. And then I try to connect my lines based on that so the triangle doesn't look too crooked. And then I just fill it in. And you could use a different brush, but I'm lazy and so I use the same brush. You can <laughs> you can use a different brush that has more uh, more hair to it. So it'll fill in quicker, but I don't think this really takes that long. So like that. And then after after this is filled in, then I'm going to take the black and I'm going to do two black stripes down to the very tip of my pinky. Okay, and then for this, I'm just going to have them come in from the sides. I'm just using Stormy. Is that what this is called? I don't know. This is the Zoya Black Holographic. And I'm going to just have it come down straight to the center of the nail. So kind of like that. And don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to put a little stud at the very tip. So that's what it should look like. So now using a bit of top coat, I'm going to put three black studs down the center stripe of this purple nail. And this top coat is just the Avon avon uv gloss card it dries really fast and it's actually pretty shiny but i got it at the flea market where they were selling avon polishes for a dollar each and so i picked it up but the last time i went they didn't have any they had avon polishes but they weren't a dollar they were trying to sell them to me for three dollars which wasn't going to happen the one Okay, so this is what the three studs should look like. Sorry, I was having technical difficulties. And yeah, and then I'm going to put one right there on the tip of the pinky. And I will come back and show you what we're going to do on our pointer finger. Okay, so on my pointer finger, I just added these tapes. I did two skinny sections and then I'm going to use this little brush and this is the Zoya polish and I'm going to fill in carefully fill in to try to stay between the tapes with the Zoya polish one on this side and then two on the other and then I'm going to do the Sephora polish on the other three spots so I will have what that looks like in a minute. 